I'd like to introduce Mayor Tom Gaduli Jr., Vice Mayor Beth Fennell, Commissioner Mike Radwanski, Commissioner Julie Smith Morrow, Commissioner Ken Recton, and City Manager Tom Fromey. That's 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 permitted. Yes. Wow, tough crowd. Hey, let's give it up for Jerry <laughs> Okay. I have my own cheering section. This is phenomenal. We'd like to begin our celebration with the Knights, uh, excuse me, the Newport Police Department's Honor Guard. They will present both the American and Italian flags for tonight's opening ceremony. Please rise as we join together in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I love when the pages stick together. Well, you know, I've done this about 13 times. I should know exactly what's next. At least 13. Out of 13, out of 31, I'm saying. <laughs> I'm serious. All right, let's try this. There you go. Second How many people does it take to get there? Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Will everyone please join in? This is a special treat tonight. Join Genevieve Howard as she will sing the national anthem. Genevieve. and sing the Italian national anthem, Moreno. Yeah. 
principio se encinta la testa dove la vittoria le porga la chioma che si era di Roma e che io la creò si giange a corte san pronti alla morte san pronti alla morte l'Italia chiamò si giange a corte san pronti alla morte san pronti alla morte And uh, as has become our tradition, Dr. John Stevenson will now favor us with his rendition of My Old Kentucky Home, and I'm going to bring the microphone down to you, Doctor. How can you, how can you know a lead singer's at your front door? Can't find the key, doesn't know when to come in. Here you go, Doctor. Well, when you got a backup like the man playing the organ here and the Pete Wagner band with Paul and these skilled musicians before I sing I'd like to say give them a magnificent hand folks you are listening to the best of the best the best of the best and uh, I was taught this song by an old fellow by the name of Happy Chandler and I've been singing it ever since 1968 when I was president of the student body at the old community college, which is now our university, Northern Kentucky University here in Kentucky. And he taught me, he said, son, if you're gonna sing it, you gotta sing it from your heart. Judge, you know what I mean, don't you? Sing it from your heart. And uh, Judge Zalek, always kids me but I want you to know I do try to sing it from my heart I'm so blessed to be alive with that virus about taking me out over here in Campbell County's hospital to St. Elizabeth but some great doctors kept me going kept me alive and my wonderful wife who's a Campbell County girl filming me right now the smartest move I ever made yeah June Diamond Stevens. Oh, the sun shines bright on my old Kentucky home. Tis summer. Are you ready, my 
show says, are you ready for the Lord? He knocks on everybody's door, but you must first turn the knob and invite him into your hearts. And then make a U-turn in life, as old Harold Pipe used to say. Make a U-turn in life, and all of us share love. Remember, it's the Holy Spirit's job to convict. It's God's job to judge. It's my job and your job to love. 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 And remember the song. It goes like this. Senior Cleves to give the induction and bless this event, the invocation. Preghiamo. O Dio dell'universo che hai creato tutto e ci ha dato tutti i buoni che abbiamo, che possediamo nella nostra vita. Benedici la nostra congregazione questa festa italiana in cui celebriamo l'eredità italiana della città grande di Duport. Dacci oggi la tua pace, che la tua pace prevalga soprattutto e dappertutto del nostro paese e di tutti i paesi del mondo. Questo pregriamo per Cristo nostro Signore. Amen. O oh God, creator of all, we thank you for the many splendid and wonderful gifts that you have given us. Open our hearts to the gift of your peace. Banish hatred and suspicion and violence from our sight. May your peace prevail in our hearts May it prevail in the city of Newport, in the state of Kentucky. May it prevail everywhere in the world. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you, Monsignor Cleves. Now, Mayor Tom Gadouli, Jr. Thank you, Gary Jeff. Grazie. 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 Buonasera. Good evening. We're rolling in the evening. I want to welcome you to the 31st Italian Fest, Newport. 31 years, that's quite an achievement. Thank you. The festival is a celebration of our rich Italian heritage, traditions, culture, food, and drink, and of course music. We would like to celebrate the contributions that Italian Americans have made, which have helped make our country great. So let's celebrate and have a good time. Newport is a great place to live, work, shop, and play, and is the home of our 
region's most popular attractions and venues. Our success in Newport has required teamwork and a strong sense of community. We are very fortunate to have so many partners who work with us to the benefit of the city and the entire region. This evening provides us with an opportunity to show appreciation to all those who have been loyal to the city over all these years. Together, because nobody does anything alone, together we have accomplished great things over the past several years. With your support and participation, we will have a bright future for generations to come. God bless the Newport Italian Fest. God bless America, and thank you. Thank you. I'm going to have one more thing. I may have living a little bit. Gina Bella Gadoli wrote a little comment this afternoon that she's going to deliver in Italian. Ciao. Gracie. Great grazie. Gracie. Per essere venduti festo in Italia. Which it translates to, hello. Thank you for coming and have a time fest. Tonight's opening ceremony and uh, all of the entertainment for the four-day festival, as well as a lot of the operating costs, are funded through our generous sponsors. And throughout the festival grounds and the program, a list of those sponsors, we ask you support those people throughout the year, not just this weekend, please. To put on a quality event like this requires the hard work of many volunteers. There are a lot of people who have given their time to make this a great festival. We'd like to thank them for their efforts in the production of this great event. I'd like to remind everyone about a couple of events that will be happening during Italian Fest 2023. And uh, a bocce ball court is located near the eastern end of the festival grounds. If you're, uh, if you're feeling up to the challenge, yeah, check it out. This is one of the great things that have been added. The use of the court is free and open to everybody. A complete schedule of events can be picked up at one of the vendors throughout the festival. Ranero family to, to the stage, please, for the Italian American Sons and Daughters Award honoree. And uh, Tom, we'll uh, have you, Mr. Mayor, we'll have you uh, present the honorable Italian American Sons and Daughters Award in memoriam to Louis Anthony Rainier Jr., Louis. So we're going to take a little break, but if the family can come up on stage, and Thank then we'll do the proclamation in about five minutes. Thank you. Family, please make your way to the stage. Thank you.
You all ready? All right, here we go. Honored Italian American Sons and Daughter Award 2023. This award is a special award and it brings back the family to Italian Fest. Tonight, we honor Louis Anthony Ranero, not Rainiero, Jr., also known as Louie. On Thursday, June 8th, the award presented at right at 7 p.m. Louis Anthony Ranero, Louis, was born on September 15, 1949, to Louis Anthony Ranero, Sr., and Jean Calarusso Ranero. Both of his parents were born and raised in America. His grandparents, Vital and Margaret Calarusso, and Alfonso Mary Sue Ranero, of the four grandparents, three were born in Italy. They later came to America to live. They settled in Cincinnati, and Alphonse and Mary Sue came to Newport, Kentucky. Louis and Jean had five children. Louis was the oldest, followed by Geraldine, Anthony, Mary, Mary Margaret, and, and Jeanette. They lived in Newport on what is known as Spaghetti Knob on Main Street. Deep roots and spaghetti knob. Louis attended Newport Catholic High School and was a graduating class in 1967. He earned a bachelor's degree in business at Eastern Kentucky University. One of his first jobs was assistant manager at the Rinks Department Store in Florence, Kentucky. There, he met his wife, Pam. They were married two years later and they moved to Muncie, Indiana where he worked for the Richter and Phillips. After living in Muncie for two years, he wanted to come back to be near his family, of course. They moved and settled near Florence. Louis worked for Breck, but much time was traveled, was involved in traveling. His last and final job became his life. He worked for DHL for the next 30 plus years. Starting on the ramp, and moving up to a supervisor position. He was loved and appreciated much more there than he ever knew. There were a lot of employees that Louie hired over the years that come back to us at the time of his death. Those employees shared the positive impact that Louie had made throughout their lives. Aside from all the work, Louie loved to play softball in his earlier years. He also was very interested in horses yeah, which he and his brother Tony did together. They went on yearly trail rides where he made many lifelong friends. When he wasn't messing with the horses, you could find him tinkering in the garage, just like his dad, Lou, where who was always working on his truck. Louie always loved the vacation in Florida, baking in the sun, walking on the beach, finding she sea shells was his favorite thing to do. Louie and Pam were happily married for 46 years. They had three children, Matthew, Joshua, and Joy. He was so proud of his children and was always there to support them. Whether it was practicing baseball with Matthew, watching Josh in karate competitions, or being a super proud dad when Joy danced. His children were his world, and then came grandbabies. He was blessed to be here with Haley, Nicholas, Natalia, Numi, and his Naomi. Yeah, I should have got glasses, not sunglasses. And is looking down on Jonathan and Ethan. Louis was a good, kind, and loving man. He always said, family is everything. All you've got in this world is God and family. Take care of each other. On January 15th, 2020, Louis succumbed to his illness, surrounded by his loving family. 
Tonight, we honor Louis Anthony Renero Jr. Yay! Praise the Lord. His brother Tony has a few words to say. I just want to thank everybody in the city of Newport for honoring my brother with all these years. He was, like these Tony said, he was one of them. My best friend. I'm sorry. Just thank you, everybody. And I just want to say, Louis was so proud of his, her his heritage. He loved being 100% Italian. He wore a medal. He wore a t-shirt and he wore an apron. He was so proud of his heritage, and he loved Newport and all of the Italians that we grew up with. And we, we love all of you. Thank you so much. We want to remind you about all of the fantastic sponsors here, our platinum sponsors for Italian Fest 2023. In memory of Griffin and Anna Carlisle, Capital Investment Group Incorporated, the Townsend Company, Cold Iron Concessions, Newport on the Levee, Keating Moving and Clee Camp, PLL, Newport Clifton Development, CPX Newport Commercial Development, LLC. Our gold sponsors for this year's event, Riverfront Place, Prime AE, Rumpke, Pompilios, Silver Sponsors, Seco Electric, Bronze Sponsors, Hampton Inn and Suites, Newport, BB Riverboats, Assured Partners, IBEW Local Union 212, MC Steel and Grain Service Incorporated, Mammoth Row Apartments, Strategic Advisors, the Gaduli Family, the Fromey Family, and the Radwanski Family. I'm Gary Jeff. It's great to be with you, and Moreno Frazzetti will kick off the entertainment in just a few minutes. Sit tight. It's going to be a great night. It's going to be a fantastic weekend, and you guys have a front row prime seat. So enjoy, and we'll be right back with Moreno Frazzetti. Enjoy the festival. Enjoy the vendors. Okay. And I want to share one thing. 31 years we've had the peak Wagner Orchestra. There's one person. Come here, Paul. For 31 years, from the very first day, he's been at the Italian Festival. Amen. He, Jerry Peluso, and my dad, I think are the three. Sylvia Lonneman and Lonnie Lonneman. Sylvia Lonneman, another Campbell County beautiful girl. Oh, she's in the picture with Oh, let's get her in the picture, too. One, two. Wait a second here now. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition of Godly <laughs> Principles. <laughs> and I want to take one with you, too. I need it again. I forgot to push the right button. Oh, you didn't, didn't even it take it? I got the video, that but not the... That's the best smile I have. I don't have any more. I'm all out. Hang on a second now. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Beautiful. Beautiful. Gotcha. Well, the stars <laughs> make it cool. Just like the you thought it was my dad? Yes. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Thanks for your comments. They were very generous. Tim Rex, you got very generous. Hey, Tim, you got a lot of comments. 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 
Excuse me, but you see, back at home, I believe that summer will be. Excuse me, but you see, back at home, I believe that summer will be. Sylvia there and I, hey Sylvia, let me get a picture of you and the mayor, June. Get in there. Get in there with him, June. Get in there with him. Get in there with him. Yeah, now get Miss June over there with the sister. Get over there. One, two, and three. A great team. Thank you, ma'am.